The petrify spell! Could be. S anti soft! Hush, my beloved, whilst I speak the sacred words. Shellakazoo! Pet I mean, petrify! Stupefy! Pet I mean, petrify! Uh, so, let me get this straight. The puzzle was we get the ring from this guy just because he was kind of just didn't need it anymore from or because his beloved was turned to stone so we used that and we got some ham stink we used to put ink from ham with some girls who were bathing down there er, and then we got the put the ring into a rock caused statues to rise up climbed up them with the ham stink and then gave it to uh, made it the, it the Lemux guy smell it to make the girls shine skin shine on the sun uh, take off their clothes to, um, the bathing suits to let the sun shine in to reflect onto there to reveal this petrify spell they're just going to try to reverse engineer to cure his wife to turn back into uh, to engineer er, to tear his wife from the stone thing I talked about earlier and then he was trying to then it ended up turning him to stone adding more weight to him and then breaking the way into the dungeon did I lose you there Lobster crab thing! Yeah, it's stuff. Actually, since we just got in the dungeon, now might end for about 30 minutes. Well, no. I have to go a little further. Be I'm gonna probably beat the dungeon. Then I will probably quit the episode. <coughs> yeah. I. Uh, you know how fast I beat this, this and the other thing. I, then I was a fully practiced for that, more or less. Oh, that's because um, he has, like, uh, I think we had more people in it. Oh, monster milk. Uh, am I going to ban that from this run? Because it's kind of might be fun to show off the bosses in their full length. But at the same time, it's faster just to beat the crap out of them. There's something to be said for being able to just beat them out, up outright. And then there's Dagron. Yeah, I might just use it. At least on Dagron. Whee! Walk off the edge and walk left. Oh, I love video game physics. Hiya! Hit that eye th switch. Hit the eye switch. Oh, yeah, this game, uh, it functions sort of like a cross between uh, Metroid and Legend of Zelda. Uh, bike ball. These guys block way too much. I don't like it. This will help deal with the blocking. We got a key! Da na na na! Like, it, it, it's like Metroid and Legend of Zelda mixed together. Like, in, uh. Uh, it's got the, uh, gameplay, and. It plays like a Metroid game, but it. Uh, the map in the, there. I didn't get that in the game because I didn't need it. Race. Okay, but, um. It, play, yeah, it plays like Zelda. <sighs> no, it plays like Metroid, but it. It's structured more like Legend of Zelda, for what it's worth. Or, like, it's got the town areas-ish, different areas you go to, and the dungeon of said area. And it's got a, a dungeon, the dungeon has a major treasure inside. That works. That you use to get things. And that's pretty much the normal structure. Although with Breath of the Wild, who knows, it's sort of its own thing. It's sort of... Breath of the Wild is more realistic of how a place would actually be set up. If I jumped, that thing would knock me back. I might get some of the other special moves if I have the money. Which I might be able to do since I actually have, um... Let's get it this way. I wonder what... I don't, it probably won't save. Who knows? Like... Ooh. Burn the top... Burn the scalp off my head. Woohoo. Duck under here, whip the grab. Oh, I'm doing that. No, no, no. Hit my red! Woo! What's this? And we get. Risky's pistol! She's a loaded pistol, right? That, that didn't imply anything weird. Bang! 
And if you'll notice, she actually gets into her pirate costume as she's using this thing. Bang! Of course, you can still whip it, but... Actually, the, you'll notice more as we get more of these pirate treasure items. Whee! Huh. Bang. And it's mostly used to hit switches. For this pistol is pretty much useless as a weapon. Except for the small, smallest of small fry. And that's pretty much it. Because it, the hair does... See, hair is so much more powerful than a gun. It's scientifically proven. I mean, seriously, why, how did you not know that? Yeah. Actually, if you're out of that, you can't really stand on that while that thing's moving unless you're standing on it when it starts. So, uh, you can't actually move while you're on it, riding it. You can't whip from there. Eh. You'd think since she actually uses both hands that you could use your hair to attack when your both hands are full would be kind of an advantage. I don't know about that. I mean, you guess you could whip this one, but see, you kind of just fall through it if you're not on it when it and the switch is triggered. There we go. Down through the cage. Not sure exactly how we did that, but whatever. I'm not complaining. Dang it! How we did that? The physics are all wrong. Blah 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 blah. Bad cage. Whip. Hey, hey, crab thing, whip. Why are these things giving me sticks of beef? As opposed to, like, lobster tails, or something like that. Which are the ultimate healing item, food item. And not out of, like, uh, game balance perspective. I get the game balance side of it, but why that in terms of aesthetic? Like, story-ish aesthetic. Uh-oh, I better not stand here. I don't think it's good for my health to stay here for too long. Alright, whip him. I right, got them both in one spot. This could be my glorious moment! Ow. I had a better way for fighting. No, like, this is pretty much how I fought him in the race. Never mind. I do want more pike balls, I guess. But I'm, I'm probably not going to buy much to shop unless it's like uh, the shampoo and the silky cream, but focus more on the silky cream. I need one silky cream for Dagron. Something down. Wait, did I drop something down there? No, I these are not duck throughable. Okay. Drop through, down through. A bull. Yes, it's now a word now. Even though it's kind of three words. Or with, with like an extra thing thrown on at the end. I have, monster, I have regular monster milk. Um, Because Dagron is a thing, I may consider... I forgot how annoying Dagron is. Um, I think I'm not speed running. Let's see. Uh, you know what? This one I'm going to try and see how good it is. Well, and I just get on the edge of whipping from a good safe distance. Okay, it's not... A BOSS TIME! And that was easy. I'll, I'll try to fight him without it, except for maybe the dragon. Because screw that dragon! How do you dodge that laser? Maybe I will use it to speed it up? But, you know, I don't know. I'm not going for high time here, I'm just going for casual play. And that's it for this chapter! Tinkerbats? Tinkerbats? Hey! Hey! You get back here! You get back here! The spiderweb island map. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I did it. I did it. I turned a guy to stone and kind of just left him there. Won't be able to draw more power from this place from the plant with an eyeball. Eyeball plant. Huh. All right. Got it. Heart squid! Heart squid! I have four. Heart squids! 
Ah, so why did I see the Pepsi Man thing? Oh, I didn't get to a save point yet. Yeah! Well, but, oh, okay, we're, yeah, we're definitely in a good stopping range, but I need to get to a good stopping place. Yeah, whip ya, whip ya good. Doom, 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 You certainly took your sweet time. Found something. Evil dungeon. Found something. Yeah, no, I don't do that. I already said it. I found it locked up in a chest. Why? It's a map. He hasn't transformed yet. Interesting. Yeah, he can't take over a sewer. I, I pretty much confirmed that in the race. Maybe I'll remember on time this time. Ooh. Spiderweb Island. Ho! Which we could go to, but we're actually going to go out of our way to save some time from that. So, let's go to Skulltown and actually just wrap up the episode because I just beat the dungeon. dungeon. And we can talk to everyone next time. Um, yeah, let's just wrap it up. That's more of a finale then. Hit the gong, even though it didn't really hit anything. All right. All right. So, you all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Anyway, save the game, and anyway, I am level 27 Marker Man, and this is Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Thank you for watching. Bye!